Hey guys, it's Blocky P here, and I'm so excited to tell you guys how you can play your old, well, not necessarily yours, but uh, old games, old GBA games, aka Game Boy Advance games, if you guys have one. I, ha I, I have one of those small ones, but, you know, I used to play some Pokemon on that, but I didn't know why I didn't save. I don't know, it was just weird. So... Um, so I, I really wanted to play Pokemon. I, I don't know why. Just my friend started to play it. I, I just, I don't know. I, you know that, like, I don't know. It just came to me. So I was like, how do I play? Because I have a PSP and a DS. But certainly, some of my friends threw down my book bag and it cracked the screen and blop and whatever. And they all gave me, like, $10 each and whatever. And I have, like, a, not, not a lot of friends, but I have, like, at least 10. So, you know. Um... So, what you call it. So, the first thing you want to do is have a PSP, of course. And it doesn't have to be hacked. I don't think it works with a hack. But you you can try it out if you want. So, uh, we're going to download Illegal Games. Technically, it's for free. But, I mean, technically, it's not really. Because it's not really enforced. But it is. It's is. You're, you're supposed to pay for them. That's why they're illegal. Excuse me. Whoa. So, we're going to. The first thing we're going to go is PSP. Dot. Um, 64, 60, whoa, bro, B10, 1000, 2000, 3000, and go, which are all the models of the PSP, but it'll work with all PSPs, so that's great. So, all we have to do is download that. Uh, it's gonna be zip, so you're gonna need a 7-zip or WinRAR for, uh, software. So, we're gonna open up with, I, since, since I have 7-zip, I'm just gonna use it, I'm gonna hit open. And it's going to come up with uh, a bunch of these. But we're just going to need the fast recovery and this one. Alright, so we're going to, we don't need to drag that because you can just drag it on to the desktop. And then afterwards, um, you can open up the PSP by going to computer and, sorry, my thing's not on the, um, G, uh, USB mode, so it's gonna just ask if scan if sometimes something else is gonna pop up. That's why I'm waiting. Or whatever. So it's gonna be the latest recovery um, removal disc. So what you're gonna do is go to PSP game, and then you're gonna drag those two files in. Make sure you don't drop it into one of these, okay? And then all you have to, and then all you have to the next thing you next thing you're gonna need to do. Go to game a GBA emulator, which it will be in the description right here. The link download that it's gonna take a little bit longer, and then you open it like it's regular, it's WinRAR, but same thing. So, open up with 7 zip. So, I'm just gonna drag this in to the PSP thing, right? Make sure you don't drop it to here, correct? And then, if you ever want to download a game, let me just close that. If you ever want to download a game, all you have to do is go to Dope uh, Rome, and then it'll be right here. That's how the picture looks and all. So what you're gonna try to find is go to Realms uh, Game Boy Advance GBA, which is cool. And then you can search down, for example, uh, Super Mario Advance, right here. It's Advance Four. <laughs> all right, Super Mario. Okay, I don't know why it did that. I'm just going to put Super, Super Mario, because everybody knows Mario, and, you know. Okay, so we're going to hit that. Like, I don't know if there's a difference between an E and U, different thing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then whatever. So, download to that. Sometimes they're in different languages, so you have to make sure. You're going to scroll down, and it's going to have this link. All you have to do is click it, and it'll, like, start downloading. It would take, like, three seconds. It took three seconds for me, or, like, faster for you. Um, so... You're gonna hit right, you right click, show in folder, and then you're gonna find it, <laughs> and then you're gonna go to, um, you can just drag it down if you want. I'm just gonna drag it down to here, so I don't lose it, and then I'm gonna go to 7-zip, open. It's just a quick video. Um, so this is what the name is gonna be, it's kinda weird, so, um, what you're gonna do is go to your PSP, go to your game folder again, go to GBA, sorry, GBA again, and Rome. Okay, cool. So uh, then, what we have to do? Let me just close the download thing. Uh, all you have to do is just drag it. 
so let it load. Sometimes it will be a different file, like here it's the correct file, and you can rename it to whatever you want, so yeah, it should always say GBA, if not you can just edit, but I normally just keep GBA, because or else it won't work. Uh, let me just go like this, like that, okay. And then I, I normally just keep, I just take off everything. I just like to have the name of the the uh, game. All right, cool. And then you can just close it. That's it. You're done with the stuff. All right, so I can't show you this part, but I can explain it. So you can go get out of USB mode. You hear probably that. And then you go to game. Go to memory stick. I'm going to click X. And now there's things that say Pro PSP Frameware and Pro Frameware Update. You're going to hit Update, okay? Um, you will have to, you, you'll, you'll see. So once that, like, loads up, it's, it's like adding a new version to your PSP. It's the same thing. It just lets you play the GBA, um, you know. So let that load. It will just say uh, press X to launch uh, C. FW, which is, you know, um, press tri triangle to uninstall. I'm just going to press X. All right. And then it'll say press X to start. And then I'm going to press start. And it's going to reboot your thing. It's not going to shut down. And you can hear it. Yeah. Okay. Now it's loading up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. Cool. And then afterwards, um, you can go to the one that says unofficial G. P, S, P, and then whatever. And, yeah, you can just press X. It's kind of, it's kind of like, the controls are going to be a little inverted. Like, circle is going to be the one, like, is the one that, how you launch stuff and how you select stuff. And X is going to be how you, um, it's going to be, like, different controls. And triangle is how you hit start. Because start, if you hit now, like, regular start button, uh, it will just fast forward up the game. So, let's just go to, uh, Pokemon Fire. All right, and then you can just press load game slash press circle <laughs> over it, and then yeah, and then it would start up and you can play. But uh, it's the same thing, same controls. Or you can like look at cheats and all that, and configure configure gamepad input and all that snazzy stuff. So we're gonna quit it. I'm just gonna quit it now. If you guys want to continue, uh, I recommend you to stay put right now because I'm gonna you're, I'm, you're gonna need to know something. So let's say your battery dies, or, like, you just shut down the PSP on Mac, like, it crashes or something, I don't know, um, you can, all you have to do is, instead of going to Pro Update, you would go to Pro Fast Recovery, and I'm just gonna turn off, like, so you can hear, I'm just gonna turn off the power, all the way to the max, let's see if it works, if restarts, it seems like it's restarting, okay, as you can hear, and okay, okay. So let lo all load. Wait a second. All right, cool. So where well, you can go back to memory stick, fast recovery. That's all you have to do. You, it's gonna load up. Don't go to update, um, cause it's gonna say FTW. I mean CFW detected and all that snazzy stuff. So yeah. All right. So what you're gonna do now is it should be. Uh, good, but if you can't, if you if it doesn't work, like the pro, like the GBA thing, just press select and see if it it's working. If you like did it correctly, and a thing a menu should come up, and yeah, and then just press select again. Select is how you bring up the little menu, and select is to get out, or you can just go scroll down. So uh, that's how you get a GBA emulator on the PSP. Any generation, I believe it works on the Go, the Go PSP. But so, thanks for watching, and as always, stay blocky. <gasps> That's a good one. Yes. All right, let me just. Oh God, sorry.